apply a tourist visa to Czech Republic. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. Uh, so guys, when it comes to apply uh, tourist visa of Czech Republic, Czech Republic is a country in Shenzhen, Shenzhen area. So that means you need to apply a Shenzhen visa. And it depends when you when you actually need a visa to travel to a Shenzhen area. For example, if you are from USA or Canada, you don't need it. And there are other countries too. But if you are from India, you do. But again, there are some exceptions. We, I won't go into that. So when it comes to apply for uh, a Shenzhen visa, it matters from which member state you enter first. OK, now in front of you, I have opened this embassy of Czech Republic in New Delhi site. They have a link for visa and consular. So I have gone here. OK, so they have given the information like for short term tourist visa up to 90 days. It's called visa type C. So they have given on this website. OK. You see there's a link to apply. OK. So you can they, they have written that applicants legally uh, living in India, Nepal, Maldives and Bhutan will up, can apply at any VFS center. So they have. Uh, Outsource it to VFS and if you are in Sri Lanka, you can apply French embassy in Colombo. So based on your location, it is. Uh, it is like uh, conducted and some other information. Now they have given the link. OK, so let's go and check. OK, all right. So very first thing is. Uh, Select identify the visa type. We know which visa type we need, right? So we'll select that. It's short term. And see, there are other things. Short term visa for tourism. So based on your location and other things, you need to apply. <clears throat> visa fee. This is an INR. And there are some VFS service charges. It's in Nepali rupees they have given here, but here, but anyway, that could be an error. But it's OK. All right, documents required. For Czech Republic in New Delhi, yeah, visa applicant form for valid passport, two recent photograph, proof of means of transportation. OK, proof of lodging, accommodation, cover letter. Travel medical insurance, proof of financial. Uh, uh, eligibility or you can say financial capacity. Of course, there are cases when you are employed, when you are uh, self-employed or if so, you are being sponsored by someone. For minor, there are some other. And some other document they have asked. OK. So this you need. What else? Travel medical insurance, that's fine. Photo specification given here. Processing time up to 15 calendar days after reaching the embassy. OK, but yeah, in some cases it may take longer because may, they may need more time to verify. Sometimes if they want, they may call you for an interview, although such cases don't happen all the time, but it's up to them, right? Embassy. Now form is here. OK. This is the application form, photo, surname, family. Now this area is for official use, so don't worry about that. Surname at birth, so your name, parental authority, national identity. And these are very simple questions about your passport details, personal data, family relationship, if applicable, residence in other country, number of entries, biometric information, entry point about your When it comes to Shenzhen, entry information is very important. And uh, at the end, place date and signature. So it's very simple. And once you are done with that, you need to uh, book an appointment. There you pay your fee, visit, and then uh, track application. And if granted, you are all good to go.
So thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.